Hello, this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. This video is for local customer J S500 door lock pump. Now, the pump itself was working actually, but this is a very bizarre problem. It's a rare problem that usually never happens, but in this case it did happen. Now, the problem was inside the valve block here. Usually these are very robust. I mean, they last long, long time, many, many years. But what happened here is, at first I thought it's the actual electric, electronics board because it didn't make sense. But then I realized the airflow was a little different. So uh, what was happening is every time you would lock and unlock the vehicle, everything would work okay. Door locks, trunk lid and everything would lock and unlock. But once the trunk is opened and closed you open and close the trunk just as simple as that then door locks would stop working and every time you lock and unlock the car instead of door locks going up and down trunk handle would come out and it would retract which is obviously not correct so right now I'm gonna show you the operation when I repaired it well I mean I found the problem at least this is our door locks. As you can see, the pressure gauge. Is working fine. Now, I'm going to have to do next is I'm going to actually I'm going to let it leak out, but then I'm going to plug it with my finger. The port for the trunk handle. First, we're going to activate this is the port for the trunk handle. This one is broken, but I'll fix it. The um, it was broken actually. So I'm going to activate the trunk handle, it's going to start hissing. You can see it's blown air. And then I let go, it's creating vacuum. So I did close it now, so the vacuum was created, pump shut down. And we're going to go back to door locks. Because before, when I would activate door locks, the air would come out trunk handle only and it was very bizarre but now as you can see the pressure gauge is okay we have actual pressure and vacuum not on the trunk handle circuit but on the actual central vacuum uh, central door locking circuit so that's good the problem was indeed inside the valve block and uh, I'm gonna dig into it a little bit just to find out what's going on but I kind of have a suspicion it's not cracked it's something to do with solenoids so uh, that's what I'm thinking what's wrong with this block but I'll open it up and see what's going on and find out the problem because this is unusual issue that's why I do test these pumps on the bench before I mail it to customers because these abnormal problems can happen even when pump is repaired so it has to be tested on the bench before it is mailed out. So this pump, um, it was like I said, working door locks would lock and unlock many times until you open the trunk. And that's kind of a hidden problem, but I did find it, so that's great. Um, the the test of the pump, you see in my other videos how I test these pumps, and I test all the ports for proper vacuum and pressure because this is dual action pump. For example, right now. The pressure reservoir is full. See, I just released the pressure of the pressure reservoir. Now it's filled back up and it's it's fine. Same with vacuum circuit is actually not working. The pump stored the code. I have to, let's see, let's shut it down. It did store the code for vacuum um, reservoir. So let's see if we can reset it. I might have to clear codes to reactivate the, the vacuum circuit. Let's see if we can make this go up. Yeah, the vacuum circuit code is hard, hard code. That has to be reset or adjusted, the vacuum pod adjusted. So I'm going to get to that in a minute, get that fixed up, and it will be ready for installation back in the vehicle the car is at my shop right now 
so I'll put it back in the vehicle and off it goes all right so this is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. door lock pumps repair on s-class vehicles w140 chassis thank you for watching